We all age. Unfortunately, every single one of us here is getting older. Most of us start on the same path. And as we travel further along, our bodies will begin to deteriorate. And although this happens at different rates, it is still an inescapable fact of life. The type of age-associated deterioration that I'm interested in occurs in our joints. A key tissue of the joint is cartilage. This covers the ends of our bones and it reduces friction to ease movement. Cartilage is susceptible to damage, either through injury or simply daily wear and tear. In adults, this damage cannot be self-repaired and typically, small cartilage defects will, over time, worsen and the protective layer of smooth cartilage wears away. This leads to the development of osteoarthritis, the most common joint disease. It is a debilitating, life-altering illness that causes severe pain and dramatically reduces mobility. Currently, there are no truly effective treatments intervene at the early stages of osteoarthritis. There are paths available, such as the transplantation of the patient's own cartilage cells into the affected area, or drilling into the cartilage to try and encourage cells from the underlying bone to repair the damage. However, these treatments are inadequate. They typically produce a rough, fibrous cartilage, rather than the smooth form that should cover the ends of our bones. Many osteoarthritis sufferers find themselves lost in the woods, going from one treatment option to the next, until ultimately they require total joint replacement surgery. Is this really the path that you want to take? I propose it is time that we forge a new path, a path that utilizes embryonic stem cells. They are truly amazing. Unlike adult cells, they are not constrained in terms of their capacity to form new tissues, and they can be used to generate any cell type in the human body. We can grow embryonic stem cells for long periods of time in the lab without changing their properties, and we can produce the large numbers required for cell therapies. In our lab, we direct embryonic stem cells to become chondrocytes. These are the cells responsible for forming cartilage. Our embryonic stem cell derived chondrocytes are also capable of forming cartilage. Our research so far shows promising results. However, we intend to improve the cartilage forming process by introducing mechanical stimulation in the form of ultrasound to try and mimic the natural environment. It is our vision that we can engineer viable cartilage from this renewable cell source that is functionally the same as native cartilage and can one day be used to treat early stage osteoarthritis. We still have a mountain to climb before this treatment becomes a reality. However, I believe that in the future, stem cell therapy will be a pathway for osteoarthritis treatment.